looks my name is Carly and today we have to talk uh, and what we have to talk about is guess what my hair like always uh, cat by the way we'll talk about her in a minute um what do we have to talk about oh right my hair uh so recently i did give myself a little bit of a snip snip a little bit of a haircut um it is not styled right now we'll talk about that too but here it is basically i just sort of refreshed my shag which is um my favorite hairstyle she's coming cat and this has never happened to me before but my hair was like nice and healthy and it just grew out and I didn't have any layers anymore. So I did recut them um, and I posted a photo on Instagram and people seem to really like this new haircut of mine. And I am so appreciative of that. I love it also. And um, I did have a couple of requests for a tutorial, which as you can see, I cannot film myself doing it on my own head uh, because um, it's already done on my own head. But we have more to talk about. So basically, um, I am at a stage right now where I really, really like the way that my hair looks when it is clean and styled, but I'm getting, I am just kind of a spoiled brat and I'm getting really exhausted by keeping my hair clean and styled. Um, I have been on a long time hair health journey. I don't know if you guys have, if I've told you guys before, um, I used to bleach and dye my hair constantly. It was falling out. Um, and I'm on a journey right now to grow it out and have it be healthy. And it is very healthy, which is wonderful. It's exactly what I wanted. It's growing really fast. However, that does mean that it gets greasy so quickly, so quickly. And um, I am trying to not use heat on it and I'm trying to do all the nice stuff to it, but for it to look good, I really have to damage it and I'm trying not to do that. And uh, luckily, I am a person who's very happy and comfortable wearing wigs on the everyday. Uh, so I did this when I had black hair and now that I love having red hair, my plan is I have this lovely wig from Amazon, which I will link below. It's not like anything special. I have no attachment to it, but it is this wonderful color. It's got this nice shadow root. Um, I have decided that I am going to style this wig like my favorite hair, uh, like my hair would look nice and clean and styled. Um, and I am going to have it to wear on the everyday so that I can leave my hair alone. And luckily that means that I can show you guys how I did this haircut. And you might not want it right now, the way that it looks because I was too lazy to style it, but I will insert a picture of what it looks like. Just a nice 70s, uh, not even really 70s, like this new modern shag uh, with the bangs. You guys know what I mean. I don't need to explain this to you. We're on the same page here. So basically, I'm gonna show you how I did the haircut and then I'm going to style it like I like styling it and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. A bit of a disclaimer, my cat is roaming this room, uh, so she might make some noise. If you guys see her, if she makes an appearance, uh, you're welcome. I'm not going to make her come on camera because I don't want to uh, exploit her without her explicit <laughs> consent. Um, but if she uh, if she walks in frame, I'm gonna take that as her signing her uh, on-screen release form. So we'll see. But uh, just a warning, if you hear a crash bang boom, that is, um, my cat being mischievous, but let's go ahead and get started. This wig is really long and really nice and it doesn't come with like so much hair, which sounds bad, but it's not bad. Um, lots of wigs right now that are being sold come with like a lot of hair. And so this one already has like the start of what we're looking for, which is like a, some long layers. So, here we are. I have brushed the part out, so we're kind of cousin Eddie right now. And I will show you guys how I'm gonna cut these bangs. Let's see how I can position this curly. Girly squirrely. By the way, this wig head is really special because it is pretty close to my 
head measurements, which is important because I used to cut wigs on like the normal size wig head, but I do have a massive cranium and um, it looks so different once you put it on your head. And I guess I could cut it on my own head, but since I have this option, it is way easier to cut when it's on a head than when it's on your head, obviously. Um, oh, I should probably give the disclaimer. You probably assume since I'm in my living room, but I am not a professional wig stylist or hair stylist. Everything I know about cutting my hair came from my own personal experience. And everything I know about cutting shags came from being a scene girl back in the day. Because as we all know, uh, shags are just scene hair without the side part. I literally can oh, show you right now. See, when you brush it to the front, shag, scene hair which this is exactly how I wore my hair for, hmm, like since I was allowed to style my own hair to like maybe junior year of high school. So it does feel kind of nostalgic and nice to see myself like that and be able to do that. Like just when I'm around the house and stuff, I'm trying to get the courage to wear scene girl hair out in public again, like so. Uh, and then I am just going to pin back the rest of the hair because this is, what we are dealing with currently is just the front because that is going to really like define what the rest of the hair is gonna look like. So let's go ahead. And then the first thing that I'm gonna do to get my fear out of the way is just um, chonk off some of the length. So let's go ahead and do that. That is a good start. Just taking off like a good four inches of the length in the front so that we make sure that we have bangs when we get done with this, right? Um, and then I am going to cut these the way that I cut my own curtain bangs. And that is, I'm gonna part them down the middle, which is funny because I just got rid of the part, right? Uh, part them down the middle. And then I'm going to take one half of the bangs and over direct them as far as I can this way while trying to keep them as smooth as possible. Obviously this is the best haircut for if you don't want to worry about it being perfect, but I'm over directing it all the way over here. You guys can't see this at all. See, these are the bangs on this side. I'm pulling them all the way over here. And then you can just kind of like make sure you can see what length it's gonna be and always start long, obviously. And then I am just going to start point cutting this hair right off. Hey, that is not for you. Hey, that is not a toy. <laughs> There's hair coming off of a wig. Don't worry guys, I'm watching her, I'm keeping her safe. So I'm gonna make sure that that is smooth not for you. And then we are just gonna let that drop and see what we've got so far. Like a 90s boy. But that over direction is how we're gonna get that swoop of the shaggy bangs. But obviously this is gonna be in my face. We are looking for like a real bangs look. So I'm gonna match it on the other side, but we have got a lot more length to take off. There we go. That is looking really, really good. See this versus this, this is bangs, this is not. So let's do the other side to match. I feel like I shouldn't even be making content on the internet today because today was um, the 2000th episode of uh, Good Mythical Morning. You guys Good Mythical Morning people? Um, I literally spent this morning putting on my makeup and sobbing because I have been watching that show on YouTube since uh, like the dawn of time. Well, since their intro had toast in it is what I'll say. Uh, don't wanna age myself, but kinda wanna age myself. I don't know, it just like, I always wanted to make YouTube videos, right? Duh, I'm making YouTube videos right now. Um, also everybody my age wanted to make YouTube videos because we grew up like when that became a job, you know? Um, 
and it seemed really, really cool. And it still does, right? But um, I went through a phase where I thought it was like kind of stupid. And like the idea of like trying to build a community on the internet seemed kind of stupid. Um, until I realized like the way that like watching Brent and Link made me feel. And I was like, oh no, this is a real thing that real people like and enjoy. And you can share with the internet stuff that you like and enjoy and they will like and enjoy it with you. Um, and that's a really special feeling. So I appreciate you guys for sitting here with me while I cut bangs <laughs> on my wig. This is what we're working with. It won't on middle part, but it will when I style it. So that's actually really what we're working with. Okay. Now, the next step is, um, so you see how I pinned this back because I didn't want to cut it. We are going to do the same thing uh, with the bottom layer of this wig because we're going to really layer up the top. So we want to make sure that we have a base of um, length because we want to keep this wig at the length that it is uh, and not lose like, why am I over explaining this? We don't want to lose the length off the wig. Now, let's let this down. And then basically what I just did to the bangs, I am going to do to the whole head of hair. So I'm going to take this, bring it up, over direct it like as far as I can, because I want these layers to be like really harsh. And then I'm just going to lose like a lot of the length. Don't be scared. That is how you do it, because you know you have that length pinned back. So you can have pretty short layers on top and it will be okay. So that, I'm wearing black. And there's black posters. That is the shape that that created from that long piece. So let's uh, keep doing that. Also, sometimes I will just take the scissors and run them down the hair. I feel like I've talked about this before, but run it down the hair. All right, so I'm gonna take down the length and brush it all out again and see how we're blending. And this is looking really good, I think. You can already tell that it has that shag shape a lot more than it did before. It did have some layers before, but it has a lot more layers now. It's really taking this volume a lot easier and it has a lot of length down here still. And the length is like nice and thick still, which I appreciate. So basically for my finishing touches on the hair cut, I am just going to, um, this is a kind of a controversial technique, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Take my scissors with the short pieces and the length and just run them down like that. And I'm gonna do that all the way around. I'm gonna be careful not to take off too much. I'm just trying to blend in the layers. Literally, this is not gonna take me very long. I just am trying to make sure that it is all layered nicely. Nice, nice and shaggy, making sure that it has this shape in the back. You can see, creates this nice big shag shape in the back. Now it's time for styling. Let's do it. I'm gonna grab sweep up all this hair first. Look at all the hair I took off of it and it lost no length. Isn't that insane? Crazy. Hello. Okay. Hi, how are we? I took a little bit of a took a little bit of a break. Welcome to styling. So I'm going to style this with a straightener. I realized today that I have done all this in the video before, but I'm hoping that this one can be better. And also, it's this one I'm being a lot more careful and nice with because I'm hoping to wear it on a pretty everyday basis because it is the same color as my hair currently. So I know I don't need to explain that to you guys. I'm going to go ahead and let my straightener heat up. Um, I have a few different ways of curling synthetic wigs. This is synthetic, by the way, this is not human. You guys could have probably assumed that by me saying it was $30. Um, <coughs> uh, my sort of preferred method of curling 
synthetic wigs is um, with rollers and steam, but actually that really creates like a too perfect look for this sort of a messy shag style. So what we're gonna do is, um, since the hair is synthetic, you can heat it up and it is moldable until it cools. So we are going to take strands of this wig, heat them up with the straightener, get rid of this factory curl, and then uh, roll them up and pin them with a pin curl. Um, and we are going to roll every curl downwards. So if I were doing it on my own hair, this would go down this way. This, I don't know if you can see, it would go down this way. So instead of rolling up like this, I'm gonna roll down like this. And I'm just gonna do that, not in clean rows or anything, I'm just gonna do that all over the head and I'm gonna start with the bangs because that is where um, it is going to be the hardest. Are we hot yet? We are absol ha! absolutely hot. Oh, I burnt the shit out of my finger, okay. This is the only part that I'm gonna show you guys because it's the only part that you need to know about. Uh, I mean, I'll probably go in a little bit, but um, the most important section of this is right on this, you see this factory set middle part? Right on this middle part is our most important part to curl. We are going to take, make sure that we have hair on either side of this factory set middle part and bring them together for one section because we wanna heat these to where they come down as bangs, not to where they come down as 90s middle school boy bangs. Fair? Fair enough. Okay. Now I'm going to add heat to these. Uh, they will not really curl with a curling iron or I would. Um, and I'm just gonna roll them forward. Make sure that they are stuck together like that and then give them a little clippy clippy clip and let them sit like that. I also like this method of curling synthetic wigs because um, I can wear it same day. Uh, with steam, we have to let it dry overnight. Annoying, I wanna wear this like literally to work today because look at my hair, it's disgusting. So, rolling it down. It might only roll once because it's bangs. That's fine, we just want it to come forward. I'm kind of wanting to go for like the all sort of forward shag, um, more Keith Richards, Mick Jagger, less Farrah Fawcett, if that makes sense, currently. Um, I'll show you a piece, a longer piece in the back, and then I will get started without you guys. Just because this is gonna be four hours long if I show you guys everything. So I really don't care what the section looks like. This does not have to be perfect. It just can't be too big. And then I'm just gonna roll it down and clip it. That's literally it. All right, I'm gonna do this, do that to this whole head of hair and I will see y'all in a minute. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. I hope you had fun. If you liked the video, please make sure to like down below. And if you like me, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I upload every Monday and Friday. Today's should be Friday. So uh, see you on Monday. Bye.